Okay, guys, I am back again. I'm still updating you. Current situation, what is going on in Nigeria? So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. So while like they say they like church project, you know, they evenly finish. So we already know this man, Joe Ibokwe. We know the background uh, details of the story talking about uh, Mazin Namdikanu, the illegal kidnapping. Then Joy Bokwe was um, granted an interview with BBC Pigeon. The way that man, I personally watched that interview. And after that interview, I, I reacted to the interview, what he said about the kidnapping of Mazin Namdikanu, the leader of IPOB. And the question I asked was, or what I said, my reaction was that if this man didn't have an Igbo name, I wouldn't believe if I was told that the man is from the Igbo. I wouldn't believe that Joe Ibokwe is an Igbo man, like seriously. What he said, the negative things he talks about IPOB, the followers of Namdikano and so on. I was very, very ashamed, like serious. Let me tell you the truth. I was so ashamed that this man, for once, we already know that um, he's a special advisor to Sambolu. Okay, we already know his profile. I was like, if the Arewa, if the Mietiala can defend their own, all right, no matter what they did, can defend their own. And this man couldn't or cannot defend his own. I'm talking about Ndibu. I mean, it is so, so shameful. It is so, so shameful, of course. Just like what am I powerful, calling out the uh, politician, the leaders of the southeastern part of the country, over the arrest. Uh, sorry, when I talk about the arrest, it is kidnapping, all right? When I talk about arrest, it is a slip of tongue. What happened? When we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. Over the illegal kidnapping of uh, IPOB leader Mazin Namdikanu. All right. So far, so good. The um, Biafra Nation League, all right, said that the APC chief 10, we already know Joy Bokwe is uh, a top APC man, that he won't be spared if he enters the southeast so um automatically he has been banished that is what it means describing him as an aid to samwolu for sewage disposal we know that is his uh, portfolio so uh, prince will chimezie richard in a statement sent to daily post yesterday friday today is saturday said that joy bokwe will never enter southeast until he dies well uh, that is a very huge challenge to Joey Bokwe. I don't know how this man will overcome such challenge. Adding that the youth of the region will stone him to death for sabotage. So according to him, he said, first of all, that he is not ashamed that for years he can attend public function in Igbo land. Oh boy, this one deep. That for years, Joey Bokwe has not entered his village that he doesn't visit home, he feels he is occupying a good office in Lagos. For that, he is always defending whatever the APC government does. But he doesn't know he is just a mere special advisor on public latrine and sewage disposal. And the Biafra Nation League said that Joy Bokwe will meet his untimely, make I not talk him, uh, YouTube policy, all right? If he enters the East, to fight the Biafra supporters, adding that he would only sabotage, sabotage uh, the cause in Lagos and Abuja. So that is um, the statement from the uh, Biafra Nation League, all right? Biafra Nation League that Joey Bokwe will not enter. He has been banished. That is, let me summarize it for you, that they have banished him, that for years he has not been attending function in the village, all right? So um, they have banished him that any day he enters village, the youth of Biafra land will descend on him. I really don't know about that. 
Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think. But um, like I told you the last time I talked about Joey Bokwe, that I was so, so ashamed that this man for once, he couldn't defend his own, his people, for only for once, all right? Because if you want to compare, let us say the way it is. If you want to look at it critically, of course, looking for a separate nation, it is not a crime. It is there in the. It is not a crime when it comes to Nigeria. That is why um, uh, Namdikanu's lawyer said there will be nothing like trial. He have no case to answer. All right, that it is not a crime. So Joy Bokwe, the way he is defending this APC, um, going against his people. I mean, it is better. It would be better. Let us do it this way. Let us say it this way. It would have been better the way the Saudi leaders are doing by not even saying anything, all right? It would have been better like that than going in public, denying your people, uh, defending others, denying your own people. I mean, it's so, so shameful. But however, let me know what you think. I quickly want to update you on this. See you guys in another video. I am signing out.